Kia ora and welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Frankie. And I'm Icy. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it in the latest weather update. But first up, if you think the world's getting a bit more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling and upside-down wardrobes and an upside-down kitchen and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Penny. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Willa. What made you decide to build this upside-down house? I decided to build this upside-down house because I wanted to be different and unique. What are some of the challenges living in this house? That you can't go to the bathroom or sleep. What's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? That it's really different to many other people. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Back to Frankie and Icy. Now for a story that's truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak, which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. N hoping to see you through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Maya. Hello. I'm Mike, and with me is Lockie, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So what made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? Well, Mike, I've always wanted to invent an invisibility cloak because I thought it would be very cool to be invisible. Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? So you put it on like this, wrap it around your shoulder, and then fold it in. What do you hope the cloak will be used for? I hope the cloak will be used to get me out of school because they won't be able to see me. And that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Maya. Next up, there's a new wave graffiti crime that's covering the country. Thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering the tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of the night. Police say we're still stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to these crimes. We cross now to Lily May with an exclusive interview. Frankie, joining me is a member of the Midnight Knitters Gang. Yo, yo, Izzy, and thanks for joining us. What led you into this dark underworld of knitting graffiti? Well, I always loved knitting, so I decided to put on poles. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why or why not? Of course not. I'm just decorating the place. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else do you use to graffiti with your woolen? Um, good question. I would say maybe trees or something. Thanks for your time. Back to you all in the studio. Powder at us. At us, Powder. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught up in jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with weather presenter Caden. What's in store? Thanks, I see. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those are the conditions you just have to accept them. In Hamilton, there'll be no weather at all. It's taking a short holiday, but it's expected to be back for the weekend. In, in Wellington, we'll have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly till late afternoon. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everyone likes the sun. That's all for me. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Kate. And finally, it's time for two minutes with Penny, who knows is talking to an unusual world champion. 
Over to you, Penny. Hello and welcome to Two Minutes With Me, Penny. Joining me today is Lockie, who has just been crowned the world's greatest liar. Hello, Lockie. What's the most outrageous lie you've ever told? That's a pretty hard one. I've told a lot of lies through my years, but the pr hardest one was probably telling that I was Prime Minister. Do you lie all the time or is it just when you're competing? Oh, I lie all the time. Are you lying to me right now? No. Well, thanks for joining me. Back to the news desk. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Icy. And I'm Frankie. For Wake Up New Zealand, goodbye. goodbye.